दोस्तों इस क्लास में आपको डिक्टेशन दूंगा मैं हंड्रेड डब्ल्यू पी एम पर सिक्स हंड्रेड वर्ड्स की डिक्टेशन है आपको डिक्टेशन में प्रोवाइड कर रहा हूँ बी रेडी फॉर इट द डिस्प्यूट इन दीज अपील्स परटेन्स टू द एनवायरमेंटल क्लियरेंस फॉर एक्सपेंशन ऑफ नेशनल हाईवे फोर्टी फाइव ए अप्रूवल वॉज ग्रांटेड बाय द कॉम्पिटेंट अथॉरिटी एंड एग्रीमेंट्स वर एंटर्ड इन टू बिटवीन द एपेलेंट and the concessionaries process was initiated for acquisition of lands required for the project writ petitions were filed in the high court of madras by certain aggrieved farmers and public interest litigants questioning the commencement of the project without obtaining environmental clearance section 3 of the environment protection act 1986 empowers the central government to take all such measures for the purpose of protecting and improving the quality of the environment and preventing controlling and abating environmental pollution one of the measures provided in section 3 is restriction of areas in which any industries operations or processes or class of industries shall not be carried out or shall be carried out subject to certain safeguards the environment protection rules 1986 were made in exercise of power conferred by section 6 and 25 of the environment protection act 1986 according to rule 5 the central government may prohibit or restrict the location of industries and the carrying on of processes and operations in different areas the ministry of environment and forests issued a notification directing construction of new projects or activities or the expansion or modernization of existing projects or activities listed under the schedule to the notification shall be undertaken only after prior environmental clearance from the central government or the state level environment impact assessment authority clause 2 of the said notification provides that new projects or expansion and modernization of existing projects listed under the schedule to the notification require prior environmental clearance from the concerned regulatory authority new national highways and expansion of national highways greater than 30 kilometers involving additional right of way greater than 20 meters or land acquisition and passing through more than one state require prior environmental clearance a high level committee headed by member of planning commission was constituted by the ministry of environment and forests to review the provisions of the environmental impact assessment notification pertaining to environmental clearance for roads buildings and special economic zone projects one of the terms of the reference for the committee was to review the requirement of environmental clearance for highways expansion projects with a right of way up to 60 meters and length of 200 km the committee submitted its report recommending that expansion of national highways projects up to 100 km involving additional right of way or land acquisition up to 40 meters on existing alignments and 60 meters on realignments or by passes may be exempted from the purview of the notification the project under consideration in this case pertains to the expansion of nh 45a for a distance of 179 kilometers as a part of the bharat mala pariyojana project admittedly no environmental impact assessment was undertaken the appellant stated in the counter affidavit filed before the high court that 
environmental clearance is not required as the additional right of way or land acquisition was not greater than the limits specified in the notification even if the expansion of the national highways is beyond 100 km. Environmental clearance is required only if the additional right of way or land acquisition is greater than 40 meters on existing alignments and 60 meters on realignments or bypasses. There is no ambiguity in the above provisions as it gives no scope for any doubt. If the project involves expansion of a national highway greater than 100 km, prior environmental clearance would be required only if it involves additional right of way or land acquisition greater than 40 meters. दोस्तों इसी के साथ डिक्टेशन ये फिनिश होती है पूरी उम्मीद है कि आपने इसे अच्छे से लिखा ही होगा आपको पता है 120 WPM की डिक्टेशन कहां पे अवेलेबल होती है सो पर लिंक आपको दिख रहा होगा आई बटन पर आपसे अब मुलाकात करूंगा मैं अगली क्लास में अगली ट्रांसक्रिप्शन के साथ तब तक के लिए बाय बाय टेक केयर